Hey guys, it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here, and I'm privileged to be here today with Adam Savani. What's up, y'all? Hey, Adam. How are you going today? Chilling. What's up with you? Just chilling. Thank you yeah. so much for taking the time out, because I know you're a busy guy. Um, Hard to get a hold of you, but... <laughs> well, especially since I'm, I don't live in Australia, but yeah, thanks for meeting with me. So how are you finding Australia? This, this is your first time here? My first time here. Oh, it's I love exciting. it. Australia is awesome. The people are great. Um, the weather's fantastic. The beaches are That's amazing. Good. You've come at a good time where it's not really hot and not really cold. <laughs> well, yesterday was a lot hotter than I expected because mm. in LA, it's really cold right now. Like my heat is on 100% of the time. I may have even forgot to turn it off <laughs> when I <laughs> flew still back going. Out here. It may still be cranking hot right Your now. Your electricity but, bill uh, will be off the chart. Oh my god! I didn't want to think about it. Um, so you did pack some warm clothes, though, right? Coming here and coming cool, here, I, I I I I didn't realize how hot it was going to be. So I don't think I brought the right clothes. But I'll be better prepared next time. Shop, so. shop in Australia. There's tons while of you're shops. Here. Exactly. Yeah. Do that while you're here. I will. And what have you been up to? I know you you've only been here for like a day. Yes. Um, but I did see on Instagram you got to pat some kangaroos. I did. That was on my bucket list. Um, from since I was maybe a, a little child, but um, too, that and cuddling koalas. Cuddling koalas is definitely one of the main things I've always wanted to do. Um, and I, and from what I've learned, it's like illegal in some parts of Australia to cuddle koalas. I so did not know that. yeah, so I'll be traveling and I'm trying to go to places where it's, it's legal. It's legal. <laughs> That's kind of the goal. So I'm trying to hang out with as many koalas as so possible. So you didn't get to do that while you were. I saw a koala, but I, I didn't uh, I didn't get to t you can't touch them in certain parts of Australia. But the kangaroos, um, you can get up up and close yeah, and personal just with make them. Make sure they don't and punch really you in the friendly. face. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I got my boxing gloves ready. You're just I'm in ready. case. Yeah. Yeah. Well you might have to go to like while you're here, Australia Zoo or something if you can get up to Queensland because that you are I heard I heard it's great. So yeah, I only did that last to, week. Yeah. You are allowed to cuddle koalas I've heard that, there. Yeah. I think Perth maybe. Uh, maybe I don't, um, yeah, I haven't been to Paris since I was a baby, but yeah. Well, so, but I'm learning. We're looking forward to. Hopefully, you're going to post a photo on Instagram so we can all have a look. Yes, you're going to love it. They are so cuddly, so cute. I know. I Kangaroos are second. so soft. Yeah, they're like super soft. Just be really careful of their claws. So maybe wear like a long sleeve shirt. Have you hugged the koala? Yes. You have. Yes, just last week. Wait, so what? Re yeah, because I just came back from a holiday. So very In recently. Queensland? Yeah. What? I know. So it's crazy kind of yeah definitely wear long sleeves because there's a few people when i hugged a koala that were wearing t-shirts and they were like ah the claws are really sharp so well just warning but without if you have a long sleeve sh shirt or a jumper or something like this you'll be fine perfect so just good advice keep that in mind perfect <laughs> Now, for those who don't know, you are here in Australia to do some dance workshops. You've got gone to Sydney, that obviously and, Melbourne, and, Hobart, and, and holiday. Holiday, of course. You know, just in just between to work. I don't kind really of your consider lifestyle. it work, but yeah, um, I've always wanted to come to Australia. Uh, it's a good excuse for it. I can't, honestly, I can't even believe I'm in Australia just because like it's been so such like a destination that I don't know. You just hear about and you. You know, you don't ever really well, I was imagine surprised going. too. Like, I, I, I just emailed your publicist and I was like, oh, you know, I want to do another interview, which was just going to be over the phone. But then he's like, it's really funny. He's coming like next month. And I'm I like, know. What? Really? Yeah. It was no just way. so recently. And I was like, I am so up for that. That's crazy. Put me in. So, but That's what are you crazy. most excited about with these workshops? Um, I'm not really excited about the workshops as much as the, as much <laughs> as, <laughs> as, much <laughs> as the country. No, no. Yeah. Um, no, I, I I think just being here in general, I think it's been, a, I don't know, it's a blessing to be here, to be honest. Like, yeah. it's so cool to experience it. Um, the people here, I don't know, just, just being here is just so cool to me. So I'm just very, I feel very blessed to and be here. And you get honest. to go to all different places around Australia, not just one. I do, yeah, I do. So That's super exciting. A blessing. I, I, I might extend my trip too. I've always wanted to go to New Zealand too. Oh, um, gotta do it. I, I haven't know. been. But, but they don't have koalas in New Zealand, right? No. See? That's but fine. it's picture perfect, apparently. Just I've heard that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Everybody that I know that's traveled, they say that New Zealand is like the, it's like uh, Eden. It's like, it's like <laughs> the best Eden, place yeah. to be, yeah. It's all right. You'll have to try to do that on your trip, way. We'll see. I if you know. have control of it. I might, I might have way too much fun in Australia and just end up staying here. Please do. Uh, 
We'll see. Please do. I'll show you around if you want to know all the non-tourist places that are great, great to go. Perfect. Yeah. I'm, I'm your person. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> now, the last time you were on the show was March 2015. Can you believe that? It's that, been a while. That's been th- that what time happened? flew. Yeah. I could not a believe lot's when changed. I looked that up. And it's really great that you actually remember the interview. I was very surprised. I do. Rave it up TV. How could I forget? I know. It's Holla a great at name. Your boy. <laughs> So what have you been up to in that time? Has it? I've noticed you've been doing some traveling. I have been Instagram, traveling. Been going to Rome, I've yes. also seen. So have you just been taking some time off, or have you? Yeah. Have you been dancing? Um, I uh, I have been dancing this year. You're gonna I'm gonna be putting out a lot a lot more stuff yes. dancing. Um, look out for it. <laughs> look out for it. Uh, this week I think I'm gonna drop a uh, like a cool little video, but um, but yeah, no, I I I, I kind of uh. uh you know, focus on acting a little bit. Kind of went to film school to see if I wanted to do that. Um, That's fantastic. Yeah, I was just kind of like figuring out because I've been, you know, I've been in the business since I was like 11. Mm. So I kind of wanted to find some, you know, I wanted to kind of be normal. Uh, so I wanted to try school, try to see what that was about. Um, I've always had a passion for directing um, that since I was cool. a kid. Since I was a kid. Yeah, before I even acted or danced, I felt like I always wanted to direct, but I tried it. And I feel like, you know, there's still some things that I want to do while mm. I'm young, um, and I can eventually get to directing. But, um, but yeah, no, I've always wanted to do that. Uh, I did it. I studied it. Studied cinematography, um, and then uh, you know, just really focus on acting. And uh, and then I'm like, you know, let's crank up the dancing because people been wanting to see it. So people love your dancing. People <laughs> love it. So well, yeah, this year uh, I'll, I'll put out some more stuff so people can you know get get some more cool stuff. We definitely it's been, want it. Been, yeah. So we we don't know. Maybe in the future it will be like Adam Savani, the director. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. So you want to work more behind the camera instead of in front of it. Uh, yeah, in the future, I feel like, yeah. yeah. It's kind of always been you a You've got to grow somewhere, I guess. Exactly, yeah. You know, you're always, always learning in life. Exactly. <laughs> now, with your Instagram, yeah. I did notice that you only follow four accounts. Yeah. Why is that? Well, this is, this is a great interview four? to ask these questions, actually. Thank you. Um, because Are honestly, people, ask me, people ask me all the time. So maybe, yeah, so this will clear it up. Um, I, I'm, a, I, I'm a huge animal lover. Um, a a animal advocate Um, I saw something on online about shark finning and um, how how sharks are being mistreated Mm. and I know that there's there's been a big you know uh, population issue with certain animals as well Um, and I've always wanted to kind of get into that field of like uh, I don't know working with animals and kind of being in the, uh, you know, uh, being an advocate, I guess. Yeah, I can't really, I can't think of, think of the word right now, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, just kind of working with animals and just just helping and making the making people a little bit more aware of certain issues that are happening with them. So, um, those three websites um, specifically are kind of geared towards um, ocean preservation. Um, mm, the other one. Um, yeah, just to kind of bring awareness to the, you know, uh, hopefully in the future I'll put out a little bit more. My Instagram will be a little bit more involved with that kind of stuff. So the posts will be kind of geared towards yeah, those things. Nice. So it's not so kind of random. But uh, the other account is Leroy the Good Boy. <laughs> wow. Leroy the Good I mean, Boy. Cute dog. Leroy the Good Boy is a dog um, a friend of mine. Um, you have a dog friend. Yes. No, 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 the dog's not the friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Sean White's dog, the snowboarder. Oh, I yeah, did not know that. Um, and uh, his his girlfriend Sarah uh, owns yeah, the dog, the dog. Yeah. and yeah, it's their dog. So I don't know. It's, I love that dog. It's the cutest dog. It's always in like cool outfits. Aww. And uh, yeah, it's, I can't believe I'm even He's talking so about this. This dog is getting so much attention. <laughs> He's getting publicity. Everyone go follow him. He's <laughs> gonna have more followers than you. <laughs> oh my god, he probably does by this time. Oh well. That- there you go. We finally cleared it up for everybody. That's a great question. So when you scroll through your Instagram, yes. it's just four accounts. Just yes. photos and videos of just four accounts. Yes. I- I'll maybe start adding it up. I'll be more active, I think, hopefully, because I haven't been at all. Yeah, because you don't have your Facebook or Twitter. I don't it's have just Facebook Instagram, or Twitter, but, uh, but hopefully this year. Smart. <laughs> just want to <laughs> think so? on social media. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Well, but, you don't um, have to update everything then. 
I agree. Mm. I agree. It's yeah. a lot more work. Or I can you can hire someone to do it for you. Um, do you really want to do that? <laughs> yeah, that's why probably I haven't. But um, you're busy as it is. <laughs> right. Now, something else I didn't know about you and I just learned about recently is that your parents used to own a dance company in LA? Dance studio. A dance studio? So yeah. is that um, what influenced you into getting into dance? Did you have a choice not to or were you always like, I want to do that? But that's another great question. These Thank are you. all these great questions. This I like to keep it interesting for you. I don't want to just ask the same boring old questions. No, you're great. You're awesome at this. Um, yeah, yeah. I it, it's to answer your question. It wasn't a choice. It was like you uh, have to do it. <laughs> no, no. It wasn't like you have to do it. But it was like it was something that um, I didn't really choose to do. It was something that I did, and people responded to it in a in a gr- great way. So You're I kind of continue to do it. Continue to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I did it at a very young age, like at, since I was like four. I think I had my first performance when I was like five on stage, and uh, you know. Yeah, I was just like performing all the time as a kid, and uh, there was this one, there was this one showcase that I did, I think, where um, I did a performance, and then everybody at the end of it was like, "Oh my God, that was amazing!" And I was like, "Really? <laughs> like, you guys really thought like liked it?" And so that, to me, was like a, you know, trigger that maybe you know I can continue doing this and people will like it. So I kind of. You know, geared my energy and my focus towards that. So, and I can tell that you're still really passionate about it, though, too, aren't you? Um, I do. It is a passion. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to like create it, do it as a business. I think like dancing, like I, I don't want to like do the choreography or like being a choreographer and being like a teacher and doing that because, um, you know, then it becomes like a business and less of a passion. And I've always wanted to kind of keep it pure to, to be to be like solely a passion. So is that where the acting came about? Because you thought, well, instead of making it a business, right. do it on the camera. Yeah, no. Well, I've been acting also since I was like 11. Um, so I've been doing it f- maybe even earlier than that. But um, but yeah, uh, I think that uh, for sure acting has been something that is also a passion, but it's also been like a more realistic um, path, to go, down. path yeah. to go down for me. Because um, yeah, dancing... I've always wanted to keep it as a passion, and I'll go in cycles where, you know, I'll put a lot of energy into it and come up with a lot of stuff. But I'll, I'm always moving. I'm always still creating. It's fantastic. You know, yeah. So there's nothing else that you, not the careers that you thought about doing when you were younger that was always. Um, I want to be a zoologist. Really? Yeah, I did. Honestly, if I if I wasn't animal lover, so if I didn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't do um, if I didn't do um, anything in the entertainment industry. Uh, 100% yeah. I would do probably be a zoologist because while I was trying to find colleges to go to um, I was actually looking at you know uh, degrees in zoology and like cer- certain so schools interesting. certain schools I think Detroit has a zoology department so I guess that was kind of like the plan B in case yeah it was acting like, and dancing didn't no it, it wasn't a plan B it was more like do I want to do that as a career path or do I want to do that you know it was yeah. like a very distinct what am I going to be so most excited about when I wake up in the morning yeah mm. but I just kind of go with the flow you know I just like wherever it leads me if my path goes towards that you know I'll just follow that follow so that. yeah oh, it's definitely been the right path for you I think well yeah I guess so <laughs> And in the past, you've appeared in music videos for like Will Smith and T-Pain, which is awesome, and also been a backup dancer for Kevin Federline <laughs> as a Teen Choice Awards in Why did you have to bring that up? Sorry. But how did you land those jobs? Because I had a look. This was before the Step Up days. I want to I say it was a backup dancer for Kevin Federline. I would say it was featured in his performance. Um, Ooh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I did a show with Kevin Federline at the Teen Choice Awards, uh, which was so cool because I got to work with with my favorite choreographer, um, Marty Kudelka, um, and he hired me on that job. And uh, yeah, that was like that was like a dream come true working with Marty. So yeah, but um, but those other jobs, I, just being you know around and dancing and people like knowing me and. You know, just getting your face out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. your dance moves out there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you find the choreography? Because I've heard you prefer more freestyle. How did I? Yeah. Did you? Was it a there bit constricting? A, there isn't. There, you know, a lot of people. <laughs> there isn't a big distinction between choreography and freestyle. Um, you're just freestyle. You're just putting it to an A count. 
Mm. So if I'm freestyling, then I'll just do that freestyle and that becomes choreography. Yeah. Um, Your own choreography. <laughs> what's that? Your own choreography, I guess. Yeah, I mean, choreography freestyle. is technically freestyling until you have... Someone else telling you what to do? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Like creating a creating a routine until until it becomes like a like a routine. So mm. you're like repeating it, and then that becomes the choreography. So every choreographer freestyles to create create their thing. That was deep. I never thought of it that way, but yeah, it's very true. It, there's no distinction. Um, it's not like it's not like improv and acting. I don't think mm. um, that's very distinct. It's more of a uh, yeah. I don't know. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's going to make us all keep thinking after after this interview. <laughs> Great. Now, you've been in the Step Up franchise yes. for a while. That's where most oh. people know you from and love you from, of course. Yes. How does it feel to be a constant character in, in the franchise? Because I've watched all of them. There's a lot of people that kind of drift out and then come back in. But you're, you're always a constant. You're, you're a great interview. These are great questions. Oh, thank um, you. It, it's like being on a TV show. It's like being a. It's like being like uh, you know Lizzie, Very Ma- Lizzie long McGuire. <laughs> yeah, it's like being like Lizzie McGuire for like five years, or like you know, um, you know, it's like being on a Disney show. Like that's a Raven. Like you're that character for that certain amount of time. Yeah. And then um, you know the show ends and whatever you go on with your life or. Um, They're just very long episodes, hour and a half episodes. <laughs> hour and a half episodes, show. exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And every two years or so. Um, but yeah, it's it's just like being in a, a character um, on the, on a series. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's no different. It's no different from that. Yeah, it's no different from that. Yeah. Um, you know, you can do a movie like uh, like a Marvel movie, and Robert Downey Jr. is on that series. For you know, it's like that's very true. Yeah, he's like that character for that to that series. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe. So you it. never get sick of it. It's not like oh, another Step Up movie. <laughs> no, you don't get sick of it. It's like being on set for that show. You're you're that character, like, yes, and I that character has back. been so cool to to play because I've met so many cool people doing it. Um, I've got a lot of like recognition do- doing it. So. Um, so you really like the character of Moose? Is that more? Like yeah, he's close so, to he's you. So cool. or he's so cool. Do you, do you just play yourself, or? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Or is it a bit I don't different? Know. I just play what they write, but um, but I, yeah, I, I I try to put myself in there, but um, but no, I, it's awesome. He's he's so fun to play. He he has been. Um, he's he's become like an iconic figure. Um, he has. And, and like <laughs> he's just on the dance industry. <laughs> The yeah, dancing industry, but I'm also he's on like Trivia Pursuit. Like somebody said, is he actually? Yeah, that is so somebody cool. sent me a question. He was like, "Dude, Moose is on Trivia Pursuit." So he's kind of become like the staple in like cinema history in a weird way, which is in- insane for me to even say. But which I would have never thought, like in a, a dance movie character yeah. would do that. It's you a know? pinch yourself moment. Like, yeah, oh my it God, is. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> thanks to you that that character has become such a well i think it has it's like cool a huge it's cool thing. it's cool because not a lot of movies that you know that you remember the character's name yeah you know so when i think people that go you know move some step up they're like oh yes yeah 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 the, the curly haired dude exactly <laughs> yeah that knows how to move <laughs> right and you are obviously really known for being because there's so many step up movies now yeah. being in step up right do you ever get sick of just being known for that instead of all the other incredible things that you've done in your career no i think it's cool to just be i think it's just cool to be recognized one way or another for for the work that you do you know it's a rare thing like you can have an office job and not be recognized for the work that you do so i think it's a privilege to be able to like walk into a room of people that you don't know and they respect the work that you do i Mm -hmm. think that's so valuable um in society like there's not many jobs that you can have that where it's like a conversation starter people are like oh i love your work and you know they're aware of the work you do so i don't know i think it's a really cool thing it's a cool job to have you should be very proud i am proud it's awesome yeah and i know this might be a very hard question to answer yeah do you have a favorite step up movie or even Uh, my first one my first one that i did yeah and do you have a favorite like song or routine that you danced to because mine was definitely in step up all in when you did skipping by mario when you got up on the on the bar table. oh really yeah, that's probably my favorite wow interesting i love it and that's the recent one <laughs> um i think i think the stair one um was my favorite uh, which was right at the beginning wasn't it was the very right beginning it was my first it was my first movie my first big movie um and 
something about that day, something about that scene, you know, something about the director's vision um, just kind of made it so fun and great. And I just did it. And uh, the music, everything kind of fit, fit together. So it became like a staple of what I do. So it's cool. That's cool. Well, everyone go rewatch that. Yeah. That's, yeah, the f very first one you were in. Yeah. It was a long time ago now. It was a while ago, <laughs> yeah. Not to freak you out. We're no. all aging. I know. <laughs> I got a beard now. Yeah, I didn't have a beard back that. then. He's turning yeah. a cool man. Oh, yeah. you are a man. I'm a man now. Yeah. yeah. Big old man. Compared to the, you know, the <laughs> little kid when you were first on Step Up. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy where that time's gone. Now, something else when I was researching you, and I was like, that can't be true. How much like, research have you done about I've me? I've done a lot. Me, the FBI? I always do. Okay, yeah, I've, I've done a background search on you. Got the uh, police to do a background check. No. <laughs> the background I wouldn't do a background check. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, um, but in another interview, you said for the Step Up movies, you're definitely the one out of all the actors that is known to step up, uh, mess up choreography. Is yes. that true? Yeah. Like, that is so hard to believe. Like, Why? When we watch you, it's like, oh, he's like probably just doing freestyle right now, his own thing. Like... You just make it look so easy. Um, well, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't really that's think, a real professional. That's right a great there. compliment. <laughs> um, but I don't really think of it like that. I think like, you know, I don't put a lot of emphasis on the choreography. I kind of try to make it like a um, an organic spur of the moment thing. So maybe that's why, I sh let, you know, uh, you I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too. Yeah, you feel yeah. the music. I'm not too like. Um, concerned about the specificity of the move and da 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 da, da mm. whatever you want to call it but yeah I don't know um, I, I guess uh, I don't know I, it's not really my forte yeah but um, but if I was wanting to do choreography yeah I'd probably focus on it but I don't know, I don't know. it's not not on the top of your list exactly to do, yeah. yeah and do you prefer dancing to like the slower songs or the faster songs because step up it's variety of everything it's a variety Dep yeah. i do it off a feeling like i did kind of do it like what you want to what clothes you want to wear that day of how you feel like oh i like this shirt i'll wear that um same it's the that. same thing it's like I, okay. I like i like this song i'll dance to it yeah yeah and you've danced solo and in groups as well <laughs> yeah is the one you prefer over the other no, no i think no they're equally fun equally fun yeah it's just dancing in general exactly, right? that's yeah. why you love it it's just fantastic now, even though you've already achieved so much in your career, Adam, what else can we expect from you in the future? Is there stuff lined up? Well, this year, more dancing. Great. Um, more dancing and more dancing. Look at me. I'm already dancing right now. <laughs> where am I going? Where's this interview going? We might do have a, have a dance battle right now. Whoa, where are we well, going? Well, I'm oh, a dancer oh, too, oh, so no, maybe. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, more dancing. I know that that's what people have wanted to see from me yeah. for a while. So I'm going to try to give people what they want. Uh, so... So just Instagram videos and stuff we can expect, or just just more dancing. Just that's everything. all I can tell you. Just all the dancing, which yes. is fantastic. And I did read in a previous interview that you wouldn't mind being in the Rush Hour franchise. That's like that one, would be cool. That's like one of my dream uh, type of franchises to, well, to be in. I think they're making a new franchise, a, well, a new we'll Rush Hour. Tag right them now. in this interview and yeah. just you know get you on it. Chris Tucker. I was actually just I just saw Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. Definitely. I think everybody spread the word. You've got to get word. Adam in that because that's a dream come true. We want to make yes. your dreams come true. And would you have any advice for the listeners who might want to get into dancing or acting or just the entertainment industry in general? Um, yeah. Um, you know, follow your dreams. Simple <laughs> no. as that sounds. That's very true, though. <laughs> no. Um, you know, if you love it, you know, Go, go after what you love uh, if it's a passion I don't know the, 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 there's the more that I'm get older the harder it is to give people advice because yeah. it's so everyone's so different everyone's lives are different you can't you can't really give advice because the only advice you can give is kind of like a generic advice because everyone is such a has such a different life so um, yeah the advice is you know just to go for go if, if you're good at it keep doing it mm. and, and hopefully people people will recognize it and notice it. And as my parents say, those boring nine to five jobs that you hate are always going to be there. You only live once. You might as well go for something you love, right? Those are smart parents. I know. That's they fully awesome. support all this. That's great. <laughs> Shout out to your to your moms and dads. Yeah.
Shout out. For all the mums and dads. Yeah, for all, all of them. And we are unfortunately getting to the end of the interview. This has been a lot of fun. It's I'm been great. so glad you came out. It's been a great interview. Thank you. I love this interview. But as a closing statement, yes. this is probably the most important question. Knowing what you know now, what would you tell your 14-year-old self? I know I asked you this in the last interview. You did. But your answer may have changed, so. But how old was I? Would you say? It's 2015, did so. You, did you ask me, oh, my 14-year-old self? Do you remember what I said? I said something along the lines of, well, I don't want you to repeat it. <laughs> you said something along the lines of, you know, just have fun, like don't take life too seriously or something like that. Yeah, now no, that you're older. Definitely don't do that. Definitely yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> um... I guess like you can go with that, have fun, um, you know. But as you are now, you're older. So yeah, you like have different advice. That you're different advice is yeah, it wasn't that long ago, but um, We're already you 2018, know. so <laughs> right, um, two and a bit years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I I'd say uh, just do keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know, I've, I've had a great, you know, I've had a great time. It's not, you know. No regrets? No. I mean, just Fantastic. just learning experiences, just learning curves, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, just keep keep doing what you're, what you're doing. Fantastic. Uh, and if the listeners would like to contact you or find out what you're up to, where should they go? I'm guessing your Instagram? I mean, my hub is Instagram, so your go hub. on there. I like that, your hub. <laughs> yeah. So, I think uh, just type in Adam Spani, you come up. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Go follow him. He's posting some fantastic stuff. Yes. Plus, he's Australian trip. Well. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. All the above. <laughs> and turn on your notifications. So that you get... Because I'm coming for you. Ooh. <laughs> More dancing. <laughs> More dancing. Well, thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show today. For sure. Adam. Great job. Really appreciate your Great time. Great job. Love to have you on again in the future. So Maybe in another four years, we'll, yeah, do, we'll do another one. Hopefully not four years, but you have any Sooner. more plans? Any future plans to come to Australia? I hope you do. We'll see. Yeah, I want to. I want to continue exploring Australia, like uh, uh, the South, and I don't know. This is, it's a lot. It's been great. It's my second day here, so <laughs> we'll see. You've got we'll a long way to go. Goes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got my contact. For so sure. Just contact me if you ever come back. Sounds and as good. I said, I can show you some really great places that tourists don't know about. Perfect. Awesome. Just how you really experience Australia for how the locals experience it. I think that's the experience I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Now, for everyone watching, make sure to check out Adam Savani and like all the Step Up movies if you haven't already. Yeah, I'm very surprised. Buy it on if demand. You though. Buy yeah. it on demand. Because <laughs> I still get residuals, guys. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget support the player. He's amazing. Don't hate the game. I'd be very surprised if someone hasn't seen it though yet. But anyway, and go follow him on Instagram, of course. But yes. for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Peace out.